Hey my lovely friends, it's Moya here. I hope you're keeping well and having a gorgeous day wherever you are. I am back with another paint with me, yay! And as before, I just want to say that I am not an artist or a trained painter. I just do this for fun, so please do not come for my technique because I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoy this video. I am just gonna be rambling in the background, so if that is annoying to you, then go ahead and mute me, I really don't mind. I'm just kind of in the mood to get out some thoughts, you know? But before I go off topic, I just want to talk about this painting for a minute. One of my quarantine goals was actually to paint a portrait, and there were a few competition deadlines for the summer, and I actually work best under the pressure and like with deadlines and stuff that is how I did so well in school and with exams so I decided why not set myself the task of painting a portrait and painting people makes me really happy so this was actually super fun to complete. My mum was lovely enough to sit for me um, but I mainly worked off a photograph I took of her and yeah she just looks so like thoughtful and she is the reason why I love drawing so much so I thought it would be a good dedication for her and a good place to start with my painting. I am just mixing the base skin tones here. I started with a quick burnt umber and oil sketch for the shadows, but now I'm adding in the various tones. I don't really have a technique or a process down to a T yet, but I quite like the strong brush strokes and colours in portraits. I love the work of Colin Davidson and Jonathan Yeo, they're some of my favourite contemporary portrait painters. And yeah, I don't know, I'm just kind of experimenting with my own style here. It is just so relaxing to paint and I am very glad that I kind of forced myself to get back into it during this quarantine time. I guess this has kind of come full circle. Um, one of my first videos coming back from New York at the start of isolation was a paint with me and now that Ireland is kind of coming out of quarantine, it seems fitting to do another paint with me and to actually have a finished portrait, which I'm really proud of actually. So I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram, I will have it linked down below if you don't, but I recently turned 21 which is pretty bloody scary and I feel like that is just like the proper adulting age. I am going to be posting a little birthday vlog next week but in the meantime I thought I'd dump down some thoughts about getting old and growing up. And <laughs> not gonna lie, I kind of hate growing up. I thought I'd have my shit together by the time I was in my 20s and look at me having daily quarter life existential crises. Brief interlude though because I made this really pretty sagey green colour for the background and I thought I'd insert some aesthetic footage of me mixing the paint. I think it actually works really well with my mum's skin tone. But yeah, I can barely figure out what colour I am going to paint the background of a portrait, let alone figure out what I want to do with the rest of my life. I literally spent the days before and after my birthday crying in my bedroom because, I don't know, I just felt so alone and overwhelmed with the weight of being 21. And I know that sounds really dramatic, but I guess I'm just like a cancer at heart and truly an emotional person and I really do enjoy overthinking everything, but I don't know, growing up is kind of scary, especially whenever all you have to do is switch on your phone and successful people are just like flooding your timeline. And that's not to say that everything you see on social media is real life, like God is such a weird world and I love social media and I'm obviously a part of it now, but... Another side of me just wishes it never existed. I think I'd be like slightly more content with myself, but I have been getting better, especially at the start of quarantine. I find myself really struggling with like seeing pretty girls and influencers on my timeline, so I did like a huge cull. I unfollowed a bunch of people, I muted a few, and just like cleaned up my feed to make sure I was only following people who made a positive impact on my day to day. And yeah, that has been really good for me. Honestly, guys, I just want to remind you that sometimes I may come across as super positive and chill and happy, but like, it's really not the case 100% of the time. It's just making sure that you're doing little things every day that make you happy, like painting. I love painting so much. I love editing videos and I love taking Instagrams. And doing YouTube has really been a blessing over quarantine because it kind of made me realize that, hey, I could do this for real and I love it. So cheers to the universe because I feel like I manifested this, but also cheers to you guys for liking my content and sticking around. Life is too short to be not doing things which make you happy and I know that is a privilege to be able to work towards a career in something you enjoy but 
I also do believe that if you want it and you're willing to put in the effort, then you will get it. This is actually a really funny bit of the painting because my mom does have like silverly, silverly, silvery grey hair and I tried to do it with like the detail brush but it just kind of wasn't working for me so I ended up making her like 10 years younger and painting like dark brown black bits back into her hair but I think it worked out. I was also doing the fabric or the drapery at the top here which I don't have much experience painting fabrics and I don't know if like I enjoy it as much. I kind of got a bit bored after I finished the face so I was like throwing colour at the canvas just hoping for the best. I did like a lot of this like blue grey tones and a little bit of purple which I do think ties quite nicely into the background and into the flesh tones but I wasn't really too sure what I was going for here. Anyway, one of the main things which I've learned in the past 21 years is that yeah, life is too short. So yes, you can cry and you can be sad for a minute, but you got to pick yourself back up and you got to be actively seeking out things that bring you joy. For some, it may be success or it may be like a person which you fall in love with or a group of friends who truly bring out the best in you, but you deserve to be happy and you owe it to yourself to find that. So yeah, wow, that was cheesy, but that is just one thing which I wanted to say. This is me signing my painting. I don't really have a signature yet, but I thought I'd just go for the classic one name. A classic Monet, but this is a Moya. And that is my finished painting. I can't believe I actually did that. It took a while, maybe 40 to 50 hours, but I am really, really proud of it. I'm quite happy with how it turned out. I think I captured the essence of my mother quite well, and I love the way I did the skin. I was freaking out about the hair for a bit, but I think I fixed it quite nicely. And yeah, I also just really love the background color. I think it worked really well. So that is today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I know it is a bit shorter than usual, but it took me a while to do the actual like painting aspect of it. And yeah, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed it. It truly means the world and I love to read your guys' comments. I will talk to you guys next week. In the meantime, I hope you have a lovely day and a lovely week. And yeah, just sending my love out to you guys.